Hello everyone and welcome to the channel or welcome back. So this is part three of updating my basketball card binders, albums, uh, flashback to the 90s. So this one especially is loaded with uh, players that you will remember from the 90s for sure. Some of them were my favorite players back in the day. So let's take a look. And this one is M.O. to R.I. So first off we have... Alonzo Mourning, and I was a huge Alonzo Mourning fan, especially when he was at Georgetown. What a love. This I know classic cards aren't worth anything now, but what a great photo of Alonzo there. Um, he was with the Hornets those first couple years. I was, I was a Hornets fan even back then with him and LJ together. Um, loved Alonzo Mourning. I will definitely keep a few of these uh, cards in uh, the binder here. And some of the later stuff, especially a lot of his Miami Heat stuff, I'll move off. Um, try and sell a few things, probably of Alonzo. But I loved Alonzo Morning. Look at that him, him and Muggsy. <laughs> great, that's a great picture there too. And some of his later uh, Heat stuff. Uh, I love these cards. Look at the Topps Gold cards too. Those are really nice. And of course. The Fleer Flare cards. Beautiful cards, beautiful cards. Okay, next, another 90 staple, Chris Mullen. Um, obviously part, part of the very first dream team. Um, I do have a cool story. Look at all these Chris Mullen cards. I do have a very cool story here about Chris Mullen. Uh, you talk about 90s cards here. How about, anyone have these wild card cards? I mean, look at this photograph of him. Um, so let me get let me just show you a few of these cards and I'll get to the story here quick. So um, I did play uh, college basketball and my team, um, we were practicing at the Target Center in Minneapolis. We were playing some local uh, um, Minneapolis school there and uh, another Fleer Flare card. Look how beautiful that is. And uh, anyways, we were practicing and we were um, the at the Target Center. They have like a mall area um, connected. George Mears on. Everyone remember George Mears on there? Another 90s player, seven foot seven. And anyways, I ran or me and a few of my teammates ran into Chris Mullen in the elevator. Um, and he was nice enough uh, to sign. I can't remember what I, uh, what piece of paper I had in my hand here. Let's take a look. What did I even have here? What is this? Uh, it's just some ran random piece of uh, paper here. Very nice. Um, so yeah, he's uh, nice enough to sign this for me. So I have a original Dream Team uh, autograph from uh, Chris Mullen. So very cool and, and beautiful autograph, by the way, too. So um, I will always have this in my collection here. So very cool. Okay, moving on. So when I got back in, I did update the albums just a little bit. So um, Deontay Murray, who's been playing really well. I'm really happy to have that card. Um, kind of a sleeper down in San Antonio because San Antonio hasn't been doing too well recently. Got uh, nothing. I wish I had some good Jamal Murray, but that's just some of the stuff I was buying back then. And old Dikembe Mutombo. Like I said, I was a huge Georgetown fan. Loved Mutombo and his little uh, finger wagon there when he blocked those shots. Um, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at over taking it over Manu Bull there. That's a real nice picture right there. Um, ton of Matumbo stuff. I love these cards too, by the way. I have the Bird and Jordan are real nice ones of those. Uh, some more. More Matumbo. Had a bunch of his stuff, obviously, because I was heavy into collecting at that time. So a bunch of Matumbo cards. A random Larry Nance rookie card thrown in there. Uh, very nice to see I got some Steve Nash rookie cards, who, which have gone up in price Recently, that's a pretty nice card. I, my favorite one, I don't have it in the album, but I do have the card is his uh, upper deck hockey one where, he, where he's holding the hockey stick. Really cool card of his, probably my favorite rookie card of old Steve Nash. And then some of his, obviously his last years in the league with the Lakers there. Joakim Noah, probably pull that out. And a little David Noel, put that in the Carolina album. I got out of collecting right when Dirk was coming into the league. So most of the stuff I have is just his older, older cards before he finished up his career. So nothing too great, unfortunately, with Dirk. I do have a few of his rookie cards, but um, not a whole bunch of his uh, 
very or second third year stuff he's mr ed oban and the man who's given the all the college players their rights back which was an awesome thing for those guys hakeem hakeem the dream i love these cards too that's a pretty cool card let's what else we got everything back to back on the pages got a lot of updating of this album to do some more of the 90s bunch of the hoops that was a nice picture of him with box now with david robinson there <laughs> just more more game what a great player too in reality i think Probably only was like 6'8 or 6'9 for him to be playing center against all those bigs back in those days and doing what he did. A bunch of, bunch of Akeem. All right. And some of his more newer stuff there. All right, we've got oh, Jermaine O'Neal. <laughs> another 90s, another 90s great. Yep, he has his career started off really well and then and injuries kind of derailed his career there in the end. Oh, and this is you got the Shaq Daddy himself. What a great picture of Shaq there. Oh, yeah. You know what's surprising, too, is like I have a bunch of Shaq cards, and I was heavy into... Look at that, right over Brian Williams. <laughs> look at him. He's getting crushed. Um, I was heavy into collecting uh, at the time, you know, when Shaq first debuted, and... For whatever reason, I don't have a ton of his rookie cards. So I've been picking them up recently. And uh, um, so, yeah, I don't know what was going on with that. I got a random Shaq candy bar wrapper there. So, yeah, I've been uh, picking up a lot of the Shaq rookie cards as much as they're, they're so cheap, which is, you know, I mean, good for a collector. Because yeah, I think he's one of the all-time greats, of course. And then just some, when I first got back into collecting, you know, six, seven years ago, I was all, I mean, I guess that's because they were in the, pretty readily available in the stores, but, uh, so I got a ton of those contenders cards. Okay. Moving on, we're all the Shaq stuff. Some Robert Parrish, Marcus Page, which I'll throw into the Carolina PC binder. I, Here's a player I was totally wrong about. I thought Jabari Parker was going to be a stud in the league, and I guess injuries really kind of derailed him too, but I for sure thought Jabari Parker was going to be a monster in the NBA. Some Tony Parker stuff. Chris Paul's another one I was out of collecting, so most of the Chris Paul cards I have is just some of his um, more recent modern stuff, nothing I did pick up his rookie card right before it really took off in price, his tops one, so I was happy about that. And speaking of great point guards, old Gary Payton, the glove. I love these these uh, star picks, the college ones, one of the first college sets there. I love love these cards, love the little basketball background and stuff. And I do love this NBA hoops of him on the phone on draft day. It's a really cool card. I like the colors on it too. So a bunch of Gary Payton. That's a really, I love that upper deck picture of his too. That is just a cool card, cool looking card. Some more Gary Payton. And some more Gary Payton. What we got here? Some more GP. Old Julius Peppers. Yes, he played basketball at Carolina. He was a monster back then too. Speaking of Carolina players, Sam Perkins. And I'm getting close to getting this set finished up, and I'll have an update video for that here pretty soon. That's a cool Perkins card there. Oh, Paul Pierce. Nothing. Not much of his, it's more of his modern stuff there. <laughs> Ricky Pierce. You talk about a player who could score and light it up. Ricky Pierce for the Bucks. He was a scoring machine. And then old Scotty Pippen. Classic. Poe, look at that picture right over the top of Ewing. That is awesome. <clears throat> yeah, a bunch of his 90s, 90s cards. I got a bunch of Pippin in here. He was in all kinds, like they threw him um, in all kinds of like different types of cards in those sets. He probably had four or five cards in each set. And what's this? Supreme Court. This is USA stuff. All-star cards. 
NBA on NBC cards, just all kinds of just random stuff they threw the stars in, I guess, to build up the sets. <clears throat> Some of his modern stuff. Otto Poison, another player I thought was, was going to do really good. And, I mean, he's had a good career. He's still in the league, but never really took off. Terry Porter. What's cool about him, so I played ba college basketball at UW-Stout in Wisconsin, and Terry Porter played at UW-Stevens Point um, in college, which was in the same conference that I played in. He was way before, it was 10, 15 years before my time. But uh, yeah, so he uh, came out of the same conference I played in at college. So that's why I got some Terry Porter cards in there. Porzingis is another one whose career started off. It looked like he was going to be one of the NBA greats. He's still a really good player, but injuries is another one. I've taken his career kind of down a peg. Mark Price, that Cleveland's team back in the day with him and Nance and Dory, Elo, all those guys. Um, they had a really good team. Just that had the Bulls and Pistons in, the, in their way. Oh, Dino Raja. <laughs> all right. Oh, well, is that, I'm going to say, is that Julius Randle card? No, just a random Julius Randle card. J.R. Reed, Big Country. <laughs> oh, Glenn Rice, another scoring machine. Played at Michigan, really shoot that ball. And is, I think it's Glenn, oh, Glenn Rice going to finish this up with the album here. Oh, those are nice cards, too. Oh, oh, Rick Fox, Carolina card. All right, all right. So that is a little view of what I have in this basketball binder. Flashback to the 90s. Like I said, I'm going to update a lot of these pages, kind of get them all in more uh, newer pages there. Take a bunch of the cards out that are the players who are no longer decent anymore or past their primes and get this all updated. And I'll let you know how this album looks here in about a week or so. And thank you for watching, everyone. And until next time, YouTube, be good. Go Zoe.